This is a 2017 Newmar Dutch Star bus, tag axle. It has raised side skirting panels on the roof to conceal air conditioners and everything else from the ground. We had to custom make a roof rack system to install 2,000 watts of solar. We made it so that the panels are flush to the top of the skirting so there's no shadows that are produced. Um, the panels can be removed if you needed to work on the air conditioners. You'll see that in uh, picture number three. Came out really nice. Customers are very happy. Picture number two is just a picture of the roof before any work was done. Picture number three is with the 2,000 watts of solar installed on the custom roof rack. You can get a sense of using all the space because of the sides, the um, skirting panels on the top of the roof. It makes the roof more narrow. So all the panels have to be side by side by side. Again, not an issue because the panels are flush with the skirting, doesn't create any shadows. They're very good to go. Picture number four shows more of an angle view to see that the panels are um, flush with the system. Picture number five shows the original batteries. This is an all-electric coach. So the original batteries are flooded batteries, a lot of weight there. You're looking at 80 pounds times 8 batteries. That's 800 amp hours, 400 usable of flooded batteries. Picture number 6, 7, and 8 show the new batteries. They were moved to the other side of the coach. We now have 1,200 amp hours of lithium batteries. We have a modular solar system um, for the solar. We moved the inverter. They had an original 2,000 watt inverter that was removed. We installed a new hybrid 3,000 watt magnum inverter we moved it closer to the batteries for many different reasons um, picture number nine is of the ac electrical panel that was completely rewired um, it now has a 50 amp sub panel the original panel had a 30 amp sub panel so we upgraded it to a 50 amp sub panel we moved um, the refrigerator, the front air conditioner is now on the batteries and inverter. We also um, moved all of the rest of the electrical circuits that weren't on the inverter. The customer, again, all electric coach. They have an electric cooktop. They like to use a skillet. So uh, anyway, the electrical panel is already done. Picture number 10 just shows there was a custom um, panel mount that we had to make. Um, came out really nice to mount the, B, the battery management LCD screen. Also, the solar remote is in that screen that's right up front by the driver's area. So, to finish up here, this is a 2017 Newmar Dutch Star bus. These are um, full-time RVers. They knew from the expertise that they only wanted Precision RV to do their system. Again, 2,000 watts of solar, 1,200 amp hours of batteries, and a 3,000 watt hybrid inverter. Their number one goal, their number one item, was they love, love, love their air conditioner. So, between the solar, the batteries, they can run their air conditioner for a significant amount of time. Um, if they want a hybrid, they can do that. So, they've done that. Right after they left the job, they were boondocking. They went to an RV park 
which only had 30 amp service. It was 100 degrees. They were able to plug into 30 amp service, set the hybrid appropriately, and utilize both of their air conditioners, run the refrigerator, they have a 50 inch LCD TV, use the kitchen, etc., off of 30 amps. So, with the appropriate batteries, the appropriate solar system, the appropriate education that Precision RV always gives. Precision RV is always there for tech support after the job. They were able to be plugged into 30 amp service, but utilize their RV just like they were on 50 amp service using the hybrid and the solar, and they were very, very happy.